Hello, I'm Jason and this is Diecast Restos. I have for you today a straight up restoration on this tireless Matchbox 69B tractor shovel. These were around from 1965 until 1969, not quite making the grade for the big super fast switchover. They originally came in orange all over but a switch to a yellow body later on in the production run meant a rare combination was created, an orange body with a yellow shovel. The wheel hubs came in a variety of colours as well. The very earliest model examples had orange hubs, teamed with grey, chunky plastic tyres, but these soon changed to red. Black plastic tyres replaced the grey ones quite early on, and much to the casting's benefit in my opinion. The hubs then switched to yellow, prior to the change in body colour. The model was unique in that it had a raising and lowering shovel that also rotated left to right by being mounted on a turntable. This was loosely riveted in. The cabin was secured to the base by a single rear rivet and a tongue and slot fitment at the front. Here are all of the parts that make up the tractor shovel, minus the chunky tyres. Only one other casting in the 1-75 regular wheel series utilised this type of tyre. The 28D Mack dump truck from 1968, which teams up with this model rather nicely. Clearly cast on the back of the tractor above the rear grille is the word Hatra. It is named by most references as the Hatra tractor shovel, but I tend to just go by what is cast in on the base for the purposes of my videos. Hatra were a construction equipment company founded in 1919 in the Baltic coast town of Travemunde in Lübeck in Germany. Alfred Hagelstein opened a vehicle repair shop that then began marine engine repairs in 1923. From 1927, the company began building one-cylinder hot bulb engines and in 1930 were manufacturing ship winches and shaft systems. By 1934, they were building harbour cranes and dry excavators in association with MRN. This expanded to caterpillar and bucket chain excavators after the war. The company expanded in 1954 to segregate from shipbuilding. However, founder Alfred Hagelstein died in 1956, one year after becoming senator for Lübeck. His son Hans took over and the Hatra name was first used, coinciding with the introduction of their first swing loader. In 1960, the shipyard closed, but the construction arm received an order of 1,650 of their SL-125 swing loaders. All of these swing loaders were ordered by the German military and are what this casting is based on. By 1963, Hatra had offices across Europe and further afield, including Argentina, Brazil, Indonesia, Iran and South Africa. Hatra's former shipyards were converted to construction equipment factories while retaining their marina to build their successful Hatra day cruiser sports boats. Shipbuilding resumed in 1966 with the 25% minority stake in a shipbuilding firm. But by 1969, their second plant at Dillingen had been sold and their excavator production plant was sold off the following year. The final Hatra roller left the factory in 1972 and in 1973, the sports boats operations ceased to exist. It's difficult to know what really happened to the company. There is virtually no information available in English and there doesn't appear to be much in German either. Hans Hagelstein was killed in a plane crash in Madeira in 1977. Perhaps he took some company secrets to the grave with him. Anyway, my Hatra SL125 swing loader tractor shovel appeared tireless and worn out to begin with. It is a very well detailed model with some excellent intricate casting definition on the cabin section. It made use of some only twice used tyres that I ordered replicas in from Recovertoy in Australia and I will leave a link below for those. That aside, here is how my swing loader now looks. My 69B tractor shovel, otherwise known as the Hatra SL125 swing loader. It has been resprayed in Tamiya TS12 orange. It's a bang on replica of the original paint colour and it really suits the casting. The rear end of the cabin section looks excellent, showing off the grille slats and the tiny Hatra wording. The plastic yellow hubs have cleaned up 
and are now wrapped in some Australian reproduction rubber. The axle ends have been treated to a hint of chrome too. An altogether healthier looking example. I'm proud of how this one has turned out. I will leave a link to Recover Toy for the tyres in the description, along with links to my Patreon, Instagram and YouTube memberships. Please do leave a like and a comment, and subscribe for all the latest. That just leaves me to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.